Welcome back to the next topic on measurement of tree height. Total height of a straight tree is the straight line distance from tip of the leading shoot or from the highest point of the crown where there is no leader to the ground level, usually measured on slopes from uphill side of the tree. There are many terms associated with height of the tree. One of them is bowl height. It's the distance along the axis of the tree between ground level and crown point. Crown point is the position of the first crown forming branch. That is the distance from ground level to the first branch that forms part of the crown. The second is commercial bowl height. It's more or less same as the bowl height, but it is usually the bowl portion which is fit for utilization as timber. Now, another term is height of the standard timber bowl. Now that we fix here we fix a standard that is height of the football is taken from base of the tree to the point where diameter is over bark is 20 centimeter. So up till that we consider that as standard timber bowl. Next is stump height. Now when a tree is felled the left out portion is called as stump. So the distance from ground level to the point where the tree, tree is given a cut is called as stump height. Crown length. It's the length of the crown, the vertical measurement of the crown. That is, if we start from here, base of the crown to the tip of the crown, this portion is called as crown length. Now we have crown height. It's the height at which the crown is placed. That is, the height of the crown as a major as is measured vertically from the ground level to the point halfway between the lowest green uh, green branches forming the crown all round that is from the base of the tree to the middle of the two branches that forms lowest portion of the crown so that's all about different terms related to tree height now we have different methods of measurement and some of them are ocular that is non-instrumental methods and some are instrumental methods. Among the ocular measurements we have a shadow method. Now this has been used since ages like if a tree is standing uh, and it has a shadow we place a small stick of measured length and place it in front of the tree at, at a certain distance from the tree. We have shadows from both. So by using the rule of proportionality, we will get AB capital upon small AB is equal to BD upon BD. From this, we can get the height of the tree because we know all the three terms except the height of the tree. So height of the tree can be estimated. Now using a single pole method, we can take a pole of predetermined length that is 1.5 meter and we uh, hold it in, in, in our hand and uh, look through top of this pole and uh, coincide it with uh, tip of the tree. Now you can see you can see this is the tree and this is the pole in our hand and this is our this is our eye level we are holding it in our hand and you can see some triangles are formed and using the rule of proportionality we again have two triangles that is tri bigger triangle a b and e and smaller triangles a capital e and small b using the rule of proportionality we have a b capital upon small a b is equal to e b upon e b so a b can be estimated as e b into small a b upon capital e small b so we know rest of the things except the height of the tree which can be uh, you know uh, uh, estimated using this formula but care has to be taken that uh, a B that is we hold the pole at a distance which is equivalent to 
the distance that you are holding the pole from your eye that means capital e is e capital c and a b has to be of same dimensions this is how we can use single pole method now we have instrumental methods these uh, instrumental methods are very important in uh, devising the different instruments which are used for estimation of height in the trees uh, in the forest like hypsometer clinometer altimeter ebony's level and improvised calipers these are based on the principle of similar triangles now what is that the principle is corresponding angles are equal and the corresponding sides are proportional now what what is it uh, it we are holding a christian hypsometer we have a, uh, this is a person holding christian hypsometer in his hand and he is looking at uh, from the top of the christian uh, hypsometer and uh, coincides it with tip of the tree now uh, while holding this he is making it sure uh, that the uh, christian hypsometer uh, is at a distance which is equal to the length uh, of the portion of the christian christian hypsometer above his hand now using the now we have a set of triangles here uh, triangle formation here you can see triangle a triangle b uh, sorry point a point b and point e uh, forming a triangle a b and e now there is another triangle uh, that is small a small b and capital e this is a smaller triangle now these two triangles are similar triangles now using the principle of similar triangles we can say that ad upon ed equal to small ad upon capital ed from here we can derive ad what is ad ad is the height of the tree up to your eye level now if you add your uh height up to the eye level to this ad you will get height of the tree now care has to be taken uh if bd and ab are made constant ab varies inversely as bd this is the this, this forms the basis um, of principal graduations in christians hypsometer this instrument will be shown to you and demonstrated to you in practical exercises this is the way uh, these uh, christian this these instruments are based on now uh, we have uh, trigonometric principles in addition to the principle of similar triangles which is based on tangent law and sine law now for the for in a right angle triangle you know that in a right angle triangle hypotenuse square is is equal to base square plus altitude square now this principle is applied to instruments like ebony's level clinometers altimeters uh, etc uh, when uh, for, for a horizontal distance of 15 meter or 20 meter so they are calibrated for those two distances and have to be used uh, at a distance of 15 meter or 20 meter uh, from the base of the tree